the Lake District. I'm finally in the Lake District. I've been dreaming of coming here for years and today it all starts to be, become a reality. I'm in Keswick and five minutes down the road there, a five minute walk is Derwent Water. Tomorrow morning at about 8.30, uh, a group of us are meeting from Landscape Photographers on YouTube UK, which is a group that I'm part of. And uh, I've never met any of the guys before, so that's gonna be interesting. And we're gonna hang out for a few hours before we all go off and explore and do our thing, I suppose. So, I just, I can't get over that view. Look at that, that's phenomenal. Well, I guess I should go and do some photography. But before I go, uh, my intention over the next few days that I'm here is to do a series of videos on the Lake District. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, hit that bell, you'll get the notifications and then you can come along and be part of this little, little adventure. If you haven't been to the Lake District before, maybe you'll, uh, you'll be inspired and you'll, you'll learn something. I gotta go. Saturday morning, Keswick. This is the Landscape Photographers on YouTube UK meetup. And there are vloggers, vlogging vloggers who are vlogging vloggers. That guy behind me is Mali, who I follow his channel. And I'm actually meeting him in person and I might be starstruck actually. Get, I am. I might be starstruck. I'm, starstruck. Because I'm in your vlog yeah. and you're in my vlog. Watching at the you, same watching time. me, watching you. Should we look, do a little look at that. Look, see? Oh. Like, he's Whoa. vlogging me Whoa, we're good. and I'm vlogging him. I'm confused now. So the leader of this group is John Haswell <laughs> and he is now well, leading us <laughs> somewhere. I don't know where. We will find out. We've been here for about an hour and we're supposed to be a photography group, but nobody's actually taken many photographs. We're spending all of our time chatting. So that's fine. The weather's not that great. It's starting to rain, but the company's good. So I guess there's going to be a lot more chatting. So I thought I'd mention this on, with Simon because it's about community. We're all here today. There's about 20 of us all vlogging. There's a certain gentleman, so a post, on landscape photography on YouTube UK. The gentleman's called Alan Prince. And uh, it, as we all are strapped for cash and we love photography, I'd just put a mention, quaint mention saying, oh, I'd love a 70 to 200. 
Alan saw this and in his garage he had this. Mm. This gentleman got in touch with me on the internet and said, do you want this lens? Absolutely blew me away. Alan, you're a legend, mate. This has changed my photography. He sent me this. All I had to pay off was the postage. I can't thank you enough. So there's a shout for Alan Prince. He's probably yeah. on a, a field now, cutting some uh, wheat and doing his farming, working very hard like he does. Thanks, Alan. See, that's the community. That's the community we're in. Yeah. Good blokes. Yeah. Bunch of good lads. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right. So. Now, you, you've, uh, you're framing up a shot here. Why yeah. don't you just talk us through this shot? And you know what? This is really good. Getting you to talk on my, on my, uh, to my camera and a bunch of other guys means I don't have to do it. I just, <laughs> I'll make a vlog without me doing much. I'll let you do the work. So right now, I can't be bothered to get my tripod set. Well, I've got my tripod out, but I can't be bothered to do anything. I want to watch you because you're the master at this. So let's take a look. Just got to, no, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. So, and on that point. So, <coughs> so let's take a, so, <laughs> so Marley, talk us through this shot. Let's go over and have a look at what you're right. setting up. And I see, I see Mike, he's over there, he's got a, doing something as well. If we, yeah. if we need to move him out the way, uh, you know, we can maybe. We can always push him off. Push him, push him off. He's a good swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what have we got here, Marley? What we've got, I saw right back there. I just did a beeline and talking away to my uh, my camera as well, trying to explain what I was seeing. And as I've got here, it's even better than I thought. We've got a pool of water in front of me that's coming in, then the yeah. rocks, then Derwent water, then cat bells, and a really moody sky. It's the stages I love about this. You've got this movement in the water in the front. I might do a 10 stop. A long exposure, but for now we're just going to take it straight. I think about f11. See, you know we're on f4 at the minute, right. so we're going to stick it on f f11 starting off. I said 120th. I'm miles out. Hold on, I saw we're going to really, really go down. I might get some movement here. What we're we looking at? What? Two seconds. Two seconds. That's just to a camera's eye view. So I'm going to turn this off and let you do your Brilliant. magic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, Marley has inspired me. I've found a composition at last. It's going to be a vertical shot. Um, the lighting is pretty rubbish, so I um, don't really want too much sky in this shot. Trees and rocks and water. Classic Lake District shot, I'm assuming. Never been here before, so. The weather is not very good and the clouds or well, the sky is just flat grey. So the answer is to put on the telephoto and go in close. Just really focus on the rocks and, uh, and the trees. Let's see how that looks. Yep, should do the trick. Chris was the person that got me involved with this group in the first place. And also, you've also got another claim to fame, haven't you? I, I have, Simon. I was your first ever subscriber. You were indeed. Yes. I remember um, when I first saw your first video and, and I was kind of bowled over by the quality and I just thought, this guy, this guy must have been doing this for ages, and then I, I saw you got no subscribers. I was, I was straight in. Well, that's still the case, but you, you, you <laughs> subscribe, so not. thank you. <laughs> so, what's your favourite part about landscape photography? Uh, it's something I discuss with other people. Is I know a lot of people like getting a shot and then post processing. I yeah. personally like spending as much time as possible out there. I count this as a reset switch to life. If I can get out on a Friday night. It's, that switch has been flicked straight away. Yeah. The weekend, I'm free, I'm clear, yeah. I'm happy to do whatever I want. I think so that's, that's a lot of us uh, feel the same. You know, yeah. that's yeah. I love my long exposures. If you've not seen my channels, yeah, that's... and I use ten stops and six stops all the time. I prefer spending my time outside doing all the tinkering yeah. rather than using potentially the wrong filters and then editing it later on. Well, there's one image that you just showed me earlier on your phone I particularly like, so we're going to show it now. So check out Adam's channel somewhere. It's one of these corners and it's Wadger Catcher. 
Why'd you catch her? So, as my phrase goes, in a bit. Vlog dog. Everybody's got my dogs. So having fun, James? I mean, fun. Uh, fun is my middle name. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit tired today. A bit tired. You are? Yeah. You went for a little walk, <laughs> did you? Yeah, a bit of a walk yeah. early in the morning. I'm shattered. Yeah. Nice relax. Yeah. And my pals. Yeah. yeah, there they are.